All right, guys, the journey to the cloud continues. And here in this episode, we're going to be differentiating between a couple of misunderstood terminologies that are often confused people, cloud service models and cloud deployment models. How do you want to deploy the cloud and how do you want to give those different customers different services if you are a service provider. Okay, so I'm gonna start first with the cloud service model. Okay, tell me more about it. Again, as I said, you need to distinguish between being a cloud service provider that offers cloud services, we call these guys the CSPs, cloud service providers, and between being a cloud consumer, the customers that are actually willing to consume those different cloud services. So first, what kind of service are you offering, Mr. Customer? So first of all, we have, okay, we'll have three different cloud service models. We call those models the infrastructure as a service, as you can see them right over here, platform as a service, and software as a service. It's really what you are responsible for as a CSP and what will your customers be responsible for. So if we split the workload, we're gonna find out that we are, maybe you're a customer or maybe you're a service provider, you wanna put yourself in anyone's shoes. So if you're a service provider, as you can see right over here, let me just grab my pen. This guy here is my service provider versus if I were a customer. Okay, well, what's going to happen? What am I going to manage exactly? If we're talking about infrastructure as a server, notice the name, infrastructure. Okay, so the service provider is actually managing the infrastructure for their customers, whereas for the customers, they, they need to worry about their own operating system. They need to worry about their own applications and data, right? So if you look at that right here, I can see that the infrastructure resources are actually being managed by the providers such as networking, storage, servers, and virtualization, whereas the customer, they just want to worry about applications and operating system and middleware and runtime. All right, well, that's cool. Let's just kick it up a notch. And then this is where if you want to be, you know, availing a platform as a service, what is it going to be? Well, platform. Think about it. Oh, if you want to just Upgrade yourself a little bit further, then it's gonna be, oh, look at that. <laughs> hey, now I'm, I'm guessing what's gonna happen. The provider is managing more resources. What do you think is the provider gonna manage further? Well, I might think, all right, there you go. The provider is not just managing the hardware and the infrastructure, the networking, the storage, and the server. No, it, they're also managing the operating system and the runtime for you. You, Mr. Customer, you need to worry about your own applications and the data on top of those different servers and the operating system on top of it. So you don't have to worry about whether this is a Linux operating system, whether this is Windows or uh, whatever. You just worry about the applications. That's, that's it. And I think you might have guessed it. Pause for a second or a few seconds and tell me what do you think about SaaS, software as a service. Pause, think. Yeah, you got it right. Software as a service, the service provider is actually managing everything for you, including the applications and data as well. Oh, look at that. Everything is being managed by the service provider. So actually the provider is offering you a bunch of applications, Mr. Mr. Customer, that you will enjoy without even having to worry how those applications were installed on top of which operating system, on top of which hardware or virtualization machines. Doesn't really matter. Just consume the software and that's it. Well, that's what we call the cloud services model, the cloud service models. Okay, that's cool. Is that it? Well, no, that's not it. There are lots of other models that could, you know, that could be defined, but hey, these are the most common three models, IaaS, PaaS, and SaaS. But maybe I can just tell you that, oh, we have anything, X, double AS, <laughs> what's that? any literally anything as a service like lots of cloud service provider nowadays they can offer you really anything they can offer you look at that application as a service maybe you're talking about cas which is going to be what's that uh containers as a service uh, we're talking here about db okay database as a service uh, name it anything das okay desktop as a service and the list keeps on going and going and going lots of things lots of uh, service models that could be offered by those different cloud providers but when it comes to deploying the cloud cloud deployment models. This is something that you want to be very clear about. How do you want to deploy your cloud? Whether you're a service provider, CSP, 
or whether you're a customer, we need to understand how you're actually willing to deploy that cloud. When it comes to deploying the cloud, well, we have four very famous deployment models. There will be many others, but I'm talking about the most famous four cloud deployment models. First off, we have the public cloud. Okay, how, where are you deploying those cloud uh, you know, offerings? Where are you hosting those different cloud services? Whether we're talking here about PaaS or SaaS or anything, where is it located exactly? Is it located in the public cloud, in a public internet access, which is gonna make this available for everybody through the internet? Well, that's what we call a public cloud. If that's accessible, through the internet by everybody on you know the public internet. That's gonna be a public cloud deployment. Whether we're talking also about a private cloud. Okay, I think you might have guessed it. What's gonna be a, a private cloud? Something which is only owned by a specific organization and nobody else is gonna be accessing that cloud whatsoever. That's a private cloud that's secure. Not that the public is not secured. Of course, it's going to be secured as well. But the private cloud is just dedicated for a specific customer, for a specific uh, organization on specific private location using private network connectivity. And we also have hybrid. You might be just willing to mix between both worlds, public and private at the same time. You have public in one hand, you have private in one hand, blend them, mix them in the, you know, in, in one pot, mix them in a mixture, and then, you know, get your mix, which is gonna be the hybrid uh, cloud. Mix between both. And we save the best for last. This guy here, the multi-cloud. Okay, well, that's... Okay, multi-cloud, what's that? Multi-cloud, and be careful with the definition here, multi-cloud is when you need, as a customer, when you need to access several cloud providers, more than one public cloud provider to avail public services or public cloud services from those multiple cloud providers. It's not a single public cloud provider that you're getting connected to. It's more than one public cloud provider that will give you multiple services accessible via the internet. This is what's called multi-cloud. I could call it a public cloud if this was just a single service provider that is giving you a specific application or a specific bunch of applications through that certain providers through that certain CSP. But if we're talking about more than one public cloud service provider offering you multiple cloud offerings, then this is gonna be called a multi-cloud offering. And why we have to stress and focus on multi-cloud specifically? Because this is exactly what we need for our ENCC certification, which is gonna be in the next episode, how we actually can connect using those multi-cloud service provider or how do we connect to those different cloud service providers using multi-cloud connectivity all right if you have gone this far then you know what it's time for the key points and key points for today again we're comparing between the cloud deployment model versus the cloud service models and we're going to start here with the cloud service models which is are you the creator or you're the consumer what are you exactly managing mr service provider csps and what are you managing mr customer the services models or the service models are the most common ones infrastructure as a service platform as a service and software as a service and when it comes to cloud deployment then we're talking here about whether whether you're talking, uh, whether you're deploying it in the public, in a private deployment, it's a mix between both, which is hybrid, or is it more than one public cloud provider offering you cloud services, and this is going to be multi-cloud. <sighs> yeah, you know what you're going to do right now. Hit the like button, subscribe, and don't forget, uh, there's going to be lots of cloud connectivity lessons coming up next week onwards. You're watching, you're learning.